wonderful people how you doing how have you been back again with another exciting episode the journey continues and today i am at uh, mayaihe kekabura kiabu county and i'm visiting a breeder and today hey, i don't know where this journey today is starting i'll let him introduce himself and i'll let him show us around and also don't forget to subscribe if you've been watching us and i'm seeing you watching us but i'm not seeing you subscribe please do not forget to subscribe and also hit the notification bell to get notified every time we upload a new video i'm your girl linda kenyuta and this is dog tv kenya the best documentary channel for all all dog lovers so me welcome to the channel hello hi linda hi. my name is samuel mm -hmm. samuel mashira mm -hmm. aka geeks k9 mm -hmm. or geeks dogs kenya mm -hmm. so this is whom i am now karibuni so, sana so i want to show you mm -hmm. actually the vision of geeks k9 mm -hmm. where geeks k9 is going forward mm -hmm. uh, maybe from wherever maybe we shall go to where I started now and uh, I'll show you I'll sh we'll start by showing you exactly where we are right now as uh, Geeks K9. Uh, Karibuni. Okay nice space constructions going on what's happening? So this is Geeks K9 mm -hmm. the future of our kennels mm -hmm. so this, pl this place it's all dedicated for our dogs mm -hmm. just purely for dogs mm -hmm. so by this eh, mm -hmm. Poleni sana for construction is going on. Mm -hmm. okay. So here, mm -hmm. these are where the kennel shall be. Mm -hmm. So from this place to actually go around the place, mm -hmm. all of it, mm -hmm. it should be covered with dogs. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can see here there's a whole, uh, there's a septic sewer. Mm -hmm. So this way the, all of the, need the stuff, the, the, waste. the waste of the dogs shall be mm -hmm. being de deposited. Mm -hmm. uh, and also here we shall also be doing uh, a little bit of uh, puppy pen where the puppy will be basking from the sun mm -hmm. and all the kind of sort of maybe anything cons cons anything that consists of enjoying the dogs mm -hmm. when they are sun basking mm -hmm. yeah play play time you should be we, going to have a field yeah, here having a field there mm -hmm. uh, a nice just a nice just giving the dogs the best so there will be no house for humans here it's just dogs yeah here it's just purely for dogs wow yeah. i can close my eyes and then can imagine yeah dogs 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 so <laughs> which breeds will you be having here so here mm -hmm. I, I only major in four breeds mm -hmm. so that's a uh, doberman mm -hmm. first of all the, for the love of the doberman mm -hmm. I, ha I have to major first of all with the doberman mm -hmm. taking doberman to the next level mm -hmm. uh, since because in kenya most uh, we don't have dobermans mm -hmm. so i want now to dedicate this place as doberman kennels mm -hmm. so the next breed maybe i can introduce here mm -hmm. is the lotweller mm -hmm. And also maybe a little bit of German Shepherd, mm -hmm. but uh, mostly I want to specialize with mm -hmm. the Doberman. Yeah. And how long have you been keeping dogs? Uh, I have been keeping dogs for the last, I think, uh, eight years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And which was your first dog? Uh, the first dog normally we start from maybe down. I started with the Kinyeji one. Just because you know the passionate that we young people we find ourselves yes we are much passionate with something but mm -hmm. the real sense we can't afford to get that thing <laughs> so we just ventured mm -hmm. into the kienyeji and now the passion itself mm -hmm. start developing until the, to the point you now get a proper dog mm -hmm. yeah uh, the kienyeji ones do you still have them um, are you out you face them out and what is your experience experience dealing with like a Kakenyeji dog and then now upgrading what's the difference let, let's ask why are we making fun of mutinas <laughs> so on that uh, uh, you find that uh, local dogs you can compare them with any the, this one that uh, maybe they are bred because most of most of the, most of the times you find that the the breed that maybe we major on uh, they are bred for many specific many reasons mm -hmm. it's not like that mutina dogs it just you can just maybe breed it like the way you want but uh, for the proper dogs you find that they they have been bred for purpose for many reasons one you can find that other dogs they are they have been bred for security dogs other dogs they have been bred for maybe to serve up a specific purpose yeah so you find that a mutina you can't know even the lineage of that thing yes it's a it's a good dog me I can I, honestly it's a good dog because that's what we in fact that's what maybe most of the homes here in Kenya they have those mutinas and they are most they are in fact you, if you can compare the temperaments of other dogs like uh, maybe the temperaments of other mutinas they are even much good mm -hmm. than even the, the 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 breed that maybe most of the people want to major in mm -hmm. yeah okay 
Eh, yeah, kuja kwangu nikushikishe Mutina. Utakimbia my sister. <laughs> okay, sawa sawa. I hope I, I wish you all the best here. Yeah? Maybe I'll we'll be back definitely in a couple of months to see how the progress is. It's uh, to share. Maybe mm -hmm. be sure you knew how the progress shall turn out to be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, since it's something that is under progress uh, under construction. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And let me ask, uh, what inspired this? What inspired the move? Like, what came into your mind and now you're like, I need s special place just for the dogs? Uh, you know, sometimes in life, uh, you have those goals. Eh? You want your kennel mm -hmm. to look like not just the other kind of kennels, mm -hmm. but it should be kind of somehow special. Mm -hmm. In terms of even the way you're keeping your staffs, your dogs actually, even the... Let me say how you, you how your hygiene to your ken and lease. So that is what ex actually transpired to all of this. Because one way or another, a healthy dogs, that also always translates to something that is meaningful. You can't just keep dog, like dogs, you just uh, maybe do a small. Yes, it's good, it's, uh, people start from somewhere. But when you grow up, eh, you don't just be stick to that kind of thing maybe of you, just remaining to the same place you started. Yeah. And the dog, the Dobermans, why the love, the love for the Doberman, why the love? You know, to be honest, to be sincere, sincerely, <laughs> a Doberman is not like any other dog. Uh -huh. Me to me, yes. Yeah. Other people, they, their favorite dogs, maybe you, you find that other, they have a, their own reasons why they keep uh, the dogs they keep. Eh? Mm -hmm. But to me, a, noble do a Doberman, it's not like any other dog. Mm -hmm. First of all, remember it's a noble dog. Mm -hmm. A Doberman, if you if you it let me say to see, to be honest it's just a noble dog <laughs> when did you first come across the doberman i came across like five years ago so i was i had a friend that used to keep those dogs mm -hmm. but when i came to uh, uh, let me say when i f i first saw that dog mm -hmm. the first expression mm -hmm. of how that dog was mm -hmm. It really inspired me to keep that dog. Mm -hmm. First of all, you find that it has a, 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 let me say, it's a tall dog. Mm -hmm. Also, it's an athletic dog. Mm -hmm. Also, it's a guard dog. So, it's all in all. Mm -hmm. You see, mm -hmm. you can't compare, let me say, a, a Doberman, because of the size, mm -hmm. also it mediates people. Mm -hmm. And also the temperament of a Doberman. Mm -hmm. That's a purely working line dog. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, that's why maybe I, I really majored in dogs because, you know, in Doberman, because I find, I, I find it's like, it's a unique thing compared to the other breeds. Okay. Yeah. So I can't wait to go and see the Doberman, so I think from here we'll go see the dogs. Santini. Okay, sawa sawa. Let's go and meet the dogs. So finally we get to meet the dogs. My day with Sami continues. Sami, introduce me to your dogs. Hi Linda, karibu, karibu ni sana. So, here it's uh, where, where I can call it maternity. This is my, where they actually give birth. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I can say it's uh, my maternity. My, my maternity. And from all the information I'm gathering, it's officially called the whelping box. Yes. Uh, these days, I'm telling you, my people, these terminologies, I have them all. So who do we have here? This is Shali. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, she only uh, got one puppy. Mm -hmm. So sometimes you know as breeders, sometimes we expect the dog maybe to give birth to 10 puppies, but sometimes mm -hmm. it's a shock to us mm -hmm. because sometimes we, you know, sometimes people want to maybe have many dogs, mm -hmm. but actually sometimes mm -hmm. we get the opposite of that. Mm -hmm. So just imagine that dog, mm -hmm. he, she gave birth to one puppy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I'm thinking this is where I, we come back to pa breeding is a game of passion. It's not a game of money making because now... For, for a whole year, you, you've taken care of a dog. It became pregnant. It gave birth to one puppy. You are thinking you'd sell your puppies. Yeah. Okay, and who do we have there? Cute. This is a show line. Introducing a show line to my kennel. Uh, let me say, these are only for maybe show line. They are, they are only three puppies. So, and that, if you can see, that is a pet bull. Uh, let me say, uh, I was not to keep it, to keep her, to keep, to keep that puppy, but just because uh, someone gave me, so I just tend to take it, and maybe I can host him here for maybe a quite short of time. Then I'll find a good home for him, 
because I don't want to mix maybe pitbull with these uh, other dogs. Pitbull no longer get along with other dogs very well. So you can't keep keep pitbulls with German Shepherd. How old, how old is the pitbull puppy? The puppy is around uh, eight weeks. Yeah. How old are the German Shepherd puppies? Uh, this one, the big one, is around uh, 11 months. And the rest one, the small ones are around uh, three months currently, yeah. I, I love its coat. It has a very pretty coat. Yeah, German Shepherd, these are uh, the, the show line. They are mainly, mainly bred to maybe to be seen and also to act as a, maybe something of a beauty. Yeah, you see, if you can see the, the pigmentation of that dog, it's totally different from the other working lines. This is more beauty, you get? Yeah, so that maybe you can see from the coat and also from the mask, also from the head type. Uh, if you see that head type, it's maybe heavier for a female bitch to be having a head type of like, like that. Yeah. Cute. Yeah. Karibuni? Uh, Santi. Okay. So this is Bobby. Uh, and they are an unregistered dogs. And the other one is Cecil. Uh, this is a Doberman. This is a mother to the puppies. You'll see them later. Yeah, I had a litter. Uh, I had a litter. Uh, and you'll see the puppies. These are Rotwella. And also these are Rotwella. So these are the puppies of the Doberman. They are here. So you come out of These are Doberman puppies. Mm -hmm. They are currently go, uh, going, making their, I think, three months. Oh. Yeah, so they are still young. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I'm, so I'm doing the wrapping work. Mm -hmm. They are already cropped, mm -hmm. but they are meaning to be wrapped the ears so that maybe the ears can erect mm -hmm. upwards. Okay. Yeah. Um, can you talk about, uh, uh, we're we calling cropping. Sorry? Why, why, why do we have those bandages uh, for the Doberman? So the bandages, we call them crop, uh, wrapping. Mm -hmm. So when you crop the dog, the ears, eh? so you have to wrap them so that they can erect upwards. Yeah, so that's why we wrap them. So when the, the ears grows, so they grow facing upwards. Okay. And, and I think there's something that uh, should be interesting to our viewers because most of the time, the Doberman, the Dobermans, the ones we know, always have that ear standing. So it's not naturally born that like yeah, that. It's not naturally born like that. Mm -hmm. You have to do a surgical thing. Eh? Mm -hmm. You have to crop the ears first. Mm -hmm. So by cropping, that is cutting them mm -hmm. to two pieces. Mm -hmm. So you throw one, you remain with one part. Mm -hmm. Then mm -hmm. after there, you, lay, you let them heal mm -hmm. and they have to heal it completely. Mm -hmm. So after the ears have healed, eh? mm -hmm. so now you can now introduce the part of wrapping the ears mm -hmm. so when you wrap that's the most critical part because if you wrap the wrong way the dog doesn't maybe the ears don't stand up that maybe as you ought they should be standing mm -hmm. so you find that when you go wrong that side of wrapping so the dog the dog will not maybe come out pleasing or, or another can we go maybe i can show you how we wrap them uh, with the, I can see one dog there already has, oh, has removed the nini, the bandage. Yeah. So you can see, uh, you can go and show you how we wrap them. Oh, okay, that would uh, be nice. Uh, let me introduce you to my dog caregiver. So this is Ngogwe. Ngogwe, Karibu. I want him to take you to the next uh, part. Uh, so he will be wrapping the ears of this puppy. And maybe you can see how maybe we do it. Yeah. So, Ngogwe, Karibu. Ngoge, how are you? Hi. Okay, welcome to our show. Uh, thank you. How long have you been taking care of dogs? Mm, like almost like three years or so. Three years. And uh, it's just because of the love of dogs. Uh, that, like passion. Yeah. yeah. That is good. So, as you wrap, you make sure the ears are not facing if not. Sami, in the years that you've been breeding dogs, okay. what are the challenges that you have faced so far? So challenges are many. Uh, maybe let me say in terms of market, that uh, maybe is a very big challenge for us breeders because we find that uh, the market here in Kenya, many people don't appreciate the maybe the dogs 
you see so it's uh, very challenging to find someone that maybe actually want to buy a dog because you can't t- tell someone to buy this dog at 100,000 shillings he'll tell you it's better he or she buy a cow because one way or another he'll milk he'll milk the cow and the dog maybe that's first challenge so the uh, another challenge is uh, maybe diseases you find that sometimes if you get hit by maybe a disease in your kennel you tend to lose a lot of money because either way dog breeding it's a huge investment let me say so because sometimes you find that when once uh, once a disease strike to your kennel you lose quite some some amount of money yeah another challenge you can find also challenge in term, in food so you find getting food also sometimes become a tricky part of maybe in our in our, in our business yeah you know, you've mentioned food what does the diet of you food food the dog's food contain of so i normally feed my dogs with uh, with rice and maybe minced meat you can also do maybe beef once maybe when you get beef eh? but most of the diet maybe i do ch- uh, chicken and uh, and uh, rice and also i can also add uh, well, the pellets yeah I also do pellets but uh most of the diet is rice and meat now so far the puppies you have are for the dobermans and the rottweilers so cropping is for the ears yeah. docking is for the tails so i understand this is done just generally for beauty right it's all for beauty. and what about the docking is it uh, j- uh, also a cosmetology kind of procedure or is it a necessary procedure let me say to other dogs it's necessary you know you can't uh, dock a german shepherd but you can dock a doberman and a doberman or also a breed like a bobwell or a rottweiler because you find that uh, if you see like a huge dog it does it doesn't look good with a tail yeah? the beauty of it you see when a bobwell is docked eh, you find that it's look nice when it doesn't have the tail yeah Yeah although there are other maybe myth that people say uh, like maybe the time we were growing they used to say that uh, uh break in it waje <laughs> the dog breaks with the tail <laughs> So me I don't know those are kind of the myths eh? but most of the time you find that we we, oh, we ought to dog just because maybe you want a little bit of a beauty of in the in that breed yeah in your breeding journey like have you lost dogs to diseases or any other kind of instances yeah i have ever uh, lost like almost uh, 15 puppies so that that so that was a whole litter and uh, other puppies because uh, it's like you see there is a disease called uh, pavo that is actually deadlier than than the what we call the corona to dogs, uh, to dogs. a breeder me never want to hear anything like pavo in his kennel because it's so traumatizing you find that maybe your dogs you the attachment maybe you have with your dogs you lose them maybe at once and they go and they gone and they are gone forever so you find that sometimes it's so heartbreaking and now like let's say when you lost the litters had they gone through the vaccination process or the the disease hit before you got to vaccinate them. So according to the maybe to the consultation that I got uh, that I let me say the puppy were already infected before I vaccinated. So I vaccinated and they already they go they had the disease. So that the, by that the dog maybe in fact you just vaccinate the same day tomorrow they are not they are not they, they are not there. Aww. Yeah. No. What advice would you give to young future breeders or dog lovers out there? So the advice I can give them uh you start small then day by day you grow. So start from where you are and time is everything. Time is the rewarder. And uh let me say along the way you'll catch up with the system. Which is your favorite dog here? Doberman. <laughs> Doberman is a uh, I'm, I'm a Doberman <laughs> guy. Yeah. So my people I hope you've learned like Dobermans do not come with their ears standing. This is a, a surgical procedure that they undergo. It takes about two months before they can fully heal. 
As usual, I'm your girl Linda Kenyita. Please remember to subscribe and do not forget to hit the notification bell to get notified every time we upload a new video. This is Dog TV Kenya, the best documentary channel for all dog lovers. For contacts of the breeders, they are always at the end of each and every episode. And also, if you'd like to partner with us, please kindly you can send us an email at kenyadogtv at gmail.com. Bye.